Hi everyone, it's Antonia, and I'm here to share with you a card that I made using Newton, Newton's Nook Love and Chocolate stamp set. So I don't know about you, but over this past week I've been making lots of chocolate and candy themed cards for the holidays for Valentine's Day here in the US, and I had a lot of fun making this card. It's a single layer card that uses a lot of masking, and I thought I'd share it with you and also share a trick that I use um, to make these single layer cards easier, which the trick just ended. It's um, what I do is I will go ahead and stamp all of the images out just so I get a sense of where to place them, not worrying about whether the lines intersect or not. And then when I go to make the actual card, I will follow the blueprint from the first card that I stamped and then mask off the images so that then you get a nice card without the overlapping lines and that's what I'm doing here. So I am using a masking paper that I got from Simon Says Stamp that I like a lot. It works well. It doesn't tear the paper when you try to pull it up but it also is pretty sturdy and will stay down when you need it to and we are going to go over um, the masked images later on with um, a sponge dauber to apply some distress oxide ink and you'll you'll see how the strong masking paper comes in handy there okay so now we're just about finished with the masking and we're gonna move on to applying the distress oxide ink and I'm using two inks here I'm using shaded lilac first and I'm, I'm going over the whole um, around the edges of the image and then I'm gonna go over it again with blueprint sketch just so that it has a really nice pretty like dark blue halo around it and then there's a, a lilac halo around that that's what I was going for all right and now for the really fun part now we're gonna start peeling up the, the masking tape and I just use my spellbinders tool in one to kind of help me um, peel up the edge and then when there's enough for me to grab I'll just go ahead and and finish it with my with my hands so that's what we're doing here and here I made a mistake I forgot to mask off that little section so I'm trying to take away some of the ink with water but it doesn't matter because we're gonna go over that with a dark brown ink in a little bit okay so for the coloring section the colors I'm using on the strawberries are R27 and R46 and then for the chocolate portion at the bottom I'm going to use a bunch of browns um, in the E40s range and for the stem YG01, YG05, and YG09. All right so while the coloring is going on um, I'll jump in now and then just to you know let you know what color is being used if it's not not clear from the screen because I can see there's a little bit of a glare on the right side which I didn't realize when I was filming um, but I'll pop in and, and let you know what's going on. On the strawberries just before I, I went over the little seeds with a white gel pen just so that they would stand out. One thing I'm interested in learning from everyone is how you fit your artwork into your life and what your daily or your weekly rhythms are with respect to how you spend your time when you are creating your art. So, um, you know, I'll tell you a little bit about how I do it. So for me, I, I try to do something daily when I'm in town. Um, my days go the best when I start off the day with some coloring. So I try to do that early in the morning. I wake up about an hour earlier than, than I need to for work so that I can have a little bit of time at my drawing table just coloring or, or working on um, the, the pleasant aspects of what, whatever projects that I have going on. Um, and then in the evenings when I have time, usually I'll, I'll go back to my art table and that will be the, the last thing that I do before I go to bed. I'll spend a little bit, a little bit more time working on different projects. Um, I tend to save the bigger, more involved projects for the weekend. So filming videos or making the cards for videos, um, putting together difficult cards like light up cards or cards with a lot of layers or moving parts. Those are all things that I typically save for the weekends. And then um, during the weekdays, I do my, you know, nice 
coloring, you know, any images that I just am really looking forward to coloring, I try to do that. I find that it um, centers me for, for the day and the week when I spend a little bit of time every day coloring. Um, and then in the evenings, you know, that's kind of just like free time. It's whatever I, I kind of feel like doing. Sometimes it's more coloring, sometimes it's maybe putting together a, a simple card. And those simple cards, I'll typically during the week post those on, on Instagram. So if you're ever interested in seeing what I'm working on, aside from what you see posted here on YouTube. So I would like to hear from all of you and hear, you know, kind of what are your daily or your weekly rhythms, depending on, you know, how much time you have to, to spend on your art. Um, and when I talk about, about this, I, I do think that what we're creating is art. I know a lot of us consider ourselves crafters or refer to what we're doing as crafts, but I think, I think that language is very powerful and I think that there are very positive connotations associated with the word art. And for that reason alone, I think it's worthwhile for all of us to just ask ourselves from time to time whether we believe that the creations that we make are art. Um, and what that word means to us. And if anyone wishes to, I'd really love to hear what your thoughts are on this topic. So if you have some th thoughts, please drop a comment below. Another thing I wanted to do today was just give you a preview of what's coming up on the channel in the next week or so. So I am working on another episode of Five Cards in Five Minutes, this time for the Hero Arts February 2018 kit. That's the kit with all the really, really pretty bird images. And this episode, it will be another story time edition. Um, this story, it, there's not gonna be a lot of comedy in this story. Um, it's more of a kind of pretty cute story. Um, so hopefully, hopefully you'll, you'll, you'll like this one too. Um, it's gonna include some interesting elements that we haven't seen before. I'm going to include some video footage, there's going to be some animation um, to help move the story along and hopefully some really, really cool cards with some fun techniques that you'll want to try at home as well. So that should be coming up either Monday or Tuesday night. I'm also working on another episode of Your Story, My Card and in that series, that's a series where I take stories that viewers send me um, and then I tell their story while I make them a card and then I mail them a card. So if anyone out there is interested in participating, um, just email me a story to the email that is on the screen right now, tapalvera at gmail.com. And um, you know, if I can use it in, in a video, then um, you'll get your story told and then you'll get a pretty card out of it and um, hopefully you'll find it an enjoyable experience. Um, any, you can tell any story that you want as long as, you know, it can be told in a few minutes or so because my videos are, are pretty short, usually somewhere between 5 and, and 15 minutes. Um, it can be a story about something funny that just happened to you one day. It can be a story about how you got involved in card making. It could be, um, you know, another significant story. It could be the, the story of, I don't know, how you felt the first time you saw your, your grandchild for the first time or, um, you know, just some happy, significant event in your life that you want to share. Um, really, and any, any story that you feel compelled to tell right now, I think is, is fair game. Um, so consider that, consider whether you want to participate. And if you do, just email me your stories to tapalvera at gmail.com. Um, and, you know, hopefully we'll be able to make a video with it. And then at the end of it all, I will send you a card. Okay, so that's all I have for right now. I hope that everyone has a wonderful weekend. And I hope you get to work on all your favorite projects um, and make lots of beautiful things. And I will see you again soon in the next video. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna, I'll play some music until this is over so you can see the rest of the coloring and then how I put the card together. All right, have a great weekend, all.